when suspects try to seduce cops. Criminals getting stopped by police can often use many violent methods to try and escape. But what happens when suspects try to seduce and flirt okay. with cops to avoid sentences? Here are four examples of when this Yo, very situation was caught on camera. I bet this happens so often, you know. Like, if I thought I could seduce a cop to get out of a crime, I definitely would, bro. I, de I definitely would. Starting with 48-year-old Kelly Barton, who drove into a lamppost while transporting a special needs patient for work. However, when police huh? arrived, she was looking a little worse for wear. Where is she? Kelly? Oh, Good. yo. How are you doing? Good. Kelly admits that she had too much to drink that evening, oh, just but doesn't bit. admit to driving, despite it being her job. Unfortunately for her, though, security camera footage from the gas station proves that she was, in fact, behind the wheel, and is- Bro, she's like, nah, she's behind the- No, 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 I could- Listen, people that drink and drive like this, bro, that's crazy. Now facing charges of both DUI and neglect due to the responsibility she carried while driving with the patient. Wow. But as an ambulance pulls up to perform some tests on her, Kelly reveals that she has another trick up her sleeve and begins repeatedly flirting with all of the officers at the scene. All of them! Your hands, so you want to <laughs> the ma'am? They gotta do. Come on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I want the little young boys. Ask Yo! me how I feel. Let the little young boys Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. What I would do to you with your blue eyes. So let me check your blood sugar. Okay. Look at him. I would do him in a way that he won't eat me. <laughs> hey, look. He can look tough all he wants. Yo, you know what? Fair play to her, bro. She's actually broken. Yo, look at how this guy's standing, right? He's ready. He, he's like, yo, it no one breaking me, bro. Yeah, she broke him. <laughs> hey, look. He can look tough all he wants, right? Mm, don't let me get him. After multiple tests, it's clear to the officers that Kelly was way over the legal limit oh, yeah, and is arrested for driving while intoxicated. Mad. And after struggling to get her into the police vehicle, she's sent on her way to the police station. But if you think Kelly was bold for talking to cops like that, 18-year-old Skylar Fluss is on a completely different level, okay. going so far as to post this video to thousands of people bragging about how she got away with a DUI. Huh? I got out of a DUI and got let off with a warning. <laughs> Skyler was pulled over after an officer saw her weaving around the road in a way that suggested she might not have been completely sober. Oh but my. according to her video, she claims that using her flirtatious and quick wit, she managed to trick the officer and get away with a warning. Yo, my... Yo, listen, listen, listen. If you was a cop, bro, and she was, like, seducing you, would you give her a warning? Would you give her a warning? Nah, I, bro, I'm taking her, I'm taking her straight down to the police station. And quick wit, she managed to trick the officer Hell and no. get away with a warning. I blew a 3.8 and he let me off with a f***ing warning and gave me his number and said we should meet for coffee. Huh? He was hot, so I'm getting lunch with him tomorrow. <laughs> if her story is true, then the officer would be in serious trouble. But Yo! luckily, the officer in question recorded the entire interaction on his body cam and the video tells a completely different story. Oh, okay, she's lying. Oh. My name's Deputy Stahl, I'm in the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. I pulled you over because you were weaving a little bit back there. Where are you coming from? Um, I was coming from my friend's house. I actually just got dumped. Oh, I'm looking okay. I was like crying and like, I'm really upset. Okay. Not bothered. Were you, were you on your phone and stuff too? I was trying to call him to get a hold of him because my heart hurts Okay. So my well, I'm just concerned that you were weaving because of alcohol, but if you're on your phone, have you been drinking or anything tonight? No? Okay. The deputy then does give Skylar a card with the sheriff department's information. Yo, I thought that blur was her getting the tits out there. I was going to say, yo, that escalated quick. The deputy then does give Skylar a card with the sheriff department's information on it, but it didn't include his personal number and it didn't come with an invitation to dinner. Okay. Sounds like you're having a rough night, so I'm not going to add to that by writing you a ticket or anything, okay? So I'm just going to give you a warning. It's not a big deal. I just want to make sure you're okay. You were weaving a little bit, and I just want to make sure you're okay to operate the motor vehicle. And I oh, yo, she's weird, bro. She went online to say she was seducing him, and he let her off. Nah, he gave her a warning because she was having a rough night. You know what? To be fair, if she's smashed, he shouldn't have just gave her a warning. Like, bro, you can't just give a sub story and say, ah, I broke up. You know what I mean? Ah, I broke up. With blah, 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 blah. I believe you are. 
Um, so my information's right here on the front. The reason I stopped you here is on the back. Wherever you're headed, uh, get there safely. And I'm sorry you're having a bad night. Yeah, I'm just right down the street. Okay. No, you're, you're fine. Yeah, well, no, you don't need to apologize. I mean, you were weaving a little bit with no traffic out. I just want to make sure you're okay, that's all. Skylar's video doesn't oh, wow. just contain disgusting footage of her laughing and bragging about exploiting Arrest this officer's ass. kindness, but also states that she blew a 3.8 on the breathalyzer, ignoring that she wasn't even tested in the first place. The legal limit is only around 0.8 and already makes driving dangerous. Five, but a reading of 3.8 <laughs> would imply Skylar was not only blackout drunk, but close to death, as what? at a level of 4.0, respiratory failure is likely. But this doesn't mean Skylar was lying about being drunk underage. Videos were later discovered of her chugging tequila from the bottle and acting drunk at a party just hours before she was caught driving. Oh, After she so was cool. confronted with this, Skylar confessed and admitted to everything. She's I ended so up getting cool. a little too intoxicated. Um, I was taking shots all night and I decided to make the dumb decision to get into my car and drive. She also admitted that the officer never asked her out. That was just a lie for social media attention. Regardless of her confession though, no further action was taken against her or the officer who failed to test her. But this Yo, 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 yo. Could P like could the police get her evidence from like her videos and then re-arrest her ass? Like her admitting to being drunk, blah, 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 blah. And it, could it, could I like re-arrest her? Same can't be said for Lydia Badillo. She was caught trying to transport two illegal immigrants over the Mexican border. And as soon as everything started to fall apart, she decided to try seducing the officer. Just wait for me right here, okay? You don't I'm have anything. I'm looking at your eyes. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Wait, what? I'm looking at your eyes. Why? Because you look pretty handsome. As soon as the officer realizes something might be up with the IDs, Lydia starts to smile and stare directly at his eyes before telling him how handsome he is. What you Obviously, want? this is just a trick to try and get out of the position she's put herself in. A trick that isn't going to work on this officer. Yeah, I wonder if it actually does work on other officers, though. I wonder if there's genuinely stories of, like, I don't know, like, a girl giving an officer a blowy. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, you could go. You could go, love. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if that happens. After running the woman's driver's licenses through the national database, the officer discovers that the ID numbers return completely wrong results, meaning that both of them are totally fake. Uh -oh. It's later discovered that the two the women with Lydia in the car are both illegal immigrants from El Salvador. What's worse is that they were being transported through a service that often forces women into debt bondage, where the people who transported them will make them pay off their debt through forced labor what? and sex work. So while Lydia was arrested and the two women sent back over the border, they may have been- Wait, 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 what? wait, 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 So they've got a debt and their, and their illegal immigrants are going to work off their debt by doing sex things. What the f- Huh? Yo, do you know what's crazy, right? Like you, like we're sat at our computers right now. Some of you might realize, but a lot of us don't realize what actually happens in the world, you know what I'm saying, bro? Been saved from years of horrible treatment and abuse. One thing's for sure though, Lydia's attempt at flirting didn't work one bit. Oh, Lucario, you gave a police officer a blowy to get out of speed and to get that. Nah, <laughs> nice, bro. Unlike Brooke Teague's attempt, which actually worked out well. So well, it's rumored that her and the cop are still together to this day. No Brooke way! Brooke was pulled over after an officer witnessed her swerving around the road slightly, a telltale sign that the driver was either intoxicated or in need of help. So he swiftly pulled her over, only to be greeted in a surprising way. Hey, I'm Officer Smith, I'm going to place for Nice hey. to meet you, Mr. Smith. Um, I've never heard that before in Travis Stop. I appreciate that. Um, hey, so I'm just stopping you for improper lane use. Sorry, I was stuff. on the phone. You're on the phone? I'll be honest. Okay. Who are you on the phone with? My baby daddy. I'll show it to you too. Okay. Yeah. Zachary? Yeah. How much do you have to drink tonight? Only one drink. Just one drink? Yep. Yes, Final sir. answer. Miller. A Miller Lite? Yes. <laughs> What's a Miller Lite? I won't lie to you, a Miller Lite. That's, that's all you've had. Yes, sir. You can ask Zachary. I don't really want to talk I to Zachary. I know you don't. Bro, he don't want to talk to Zachary, your baby daddy, because he's trying to heal you, bro.
I'm just saying. Get your axe out of the way. In just this first minute of conversation, two things become clear immediately. Brooke has definitely had more than one beer to drink, and how well she and the officer seem to be getting along already. Both points that will get increasingly more obvious as the footage continues. Yeah, I can smell it from across the car. She's like, I had one Miller lot. There's no, I wanted to say like, a Miller did that to you? Big Miller, 120. No, but what's the crazy thing is, the, the narrator of this video just said, right, that the police officer that pulled her over, this guy, they're still together. Like, they actually got in a relationship, bro. From this. Miller. All right, where are we at on it? Awesome. Brooke? Yes. Teague. Am I saying that right? Teague? Yes. Like baseball league. Teague like baseball league. That's yep. <laughs> <laughs> it helps people spell it because they never spell it correctly. Brooke okay, then cool. gets taken yeah, out sure. for some sobriety tests, which take much longer than anticipated. <laughs> You're making me giggle. I'm sorry. He makes me giggle too. It's okay. Okay. Yo! I snore. I'm from Sorry. Huntsville. We're supposed to be professional. I'm from here. Huntsville. Isn't yeah. gonna make me snort. Yo, get a room. Get a fucking room. All right, stop laughing because you're making me laugh. I'm not. Right, seriously. <laughs> I'm giggling. I'm All right, sorry. This is a serious deal. All yeah. Right, okay. You're smiling. I can't <laughs> help it. All right, sit, stop. Okay. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, despite all the jokes, Brooke failed all the sobriety tests and was put Did under arrest. arrest. How much you've actually had a drink? Oh, we arrested her? I've had two Millers. Two Millers now? That's it? Yes, sir. You can call Mitchell the manager. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? After uh -oh. a search of her car, which- Hey, yo, she might like it, bro. The way they're going, she might like being uncooked. I ain't gonna lie. Turned up nothing but a loose car seat. She was driven back to the police station where the sparks <laughs> continue to fly. I'm with you. Huh? Let's go over here. Oh my God, is there a dog? There is a dog. Where? He's over there. Over here. What's his name? His name is Kolyak. Kolyak? That's my dog. Is that your dog? What's his name? His name is Coach. Coach? Mm -hmm. I have three dogs. I have a dog. Great day in the last. Wow. Did I go to high school with you? I don't think so. Where'd you go to high school? Bentonville? Yeah, no. Where'd you go? Indiana. Not Brazo, Indiana. Where in Indiana? Not Brazo. I was raised from Bloomfield. Really? Yeah. Note that despite the obvious chemistry... Look at the way that she's looking at him, bro. This, this, this is the look that you see in, like, you know, the love movies and shit. Where you see all these love stories, bro. Look at... Like, that's not like a real... Yeah, she's messed up, but that's mad how they're together today. Imagine telling your kids, oh, how did your, mo how did your mom and dad meet? Ah, pulled her over, arrested her ass. Both Brooke and the officer have remained professional and are continuing to move on with the investigation. The officer had Brooke take a blood alcohol test where she blew 0.14%, almost twice the legal limit. Uh -oh. Brooke still spent the night in jail to sober up and had her license suspended temporarily. Uh, I bet but this interaction right. shows how respect and professionalism can make an investigation much, much easier. It's just unfortunate that this cop didn't meet Brooke at a bar. Maybe things would have ended with a night at his place instead of the jail. Yo, he Prim just said that they got together though, bro. 